Right, this is Stevie's lawn and I've put a bait hive in the corner here and there's lots of bees here. Now whether we've got one in or, or they're just looking, it looks like they're just looking here. So it's going to be a nice warm day and I would suspect that we're going to get a swarm coming here. There's so many bees. Mind you that, so I'll just have a look. It's always good to put a bait hive out when you've got an out. When you've got an out apiary because if you have a swarm come out then there's a fair chance that they will go into the, uh, the box. And these look like they're near enough working. So we might have a swarm in here from yesterday. Right, I think I better put my bee suit on here and just have a look in here. There's uh, quite a lot of bees. I'm still without my bee suit. And these bees are just taking a little bit more of a notice of me than uh, I'd like to uh, just have a look inside. This is Stevie's hive. Uh, there's quite a few drones going out here to get uh, to see if they can get the uh, elusive mate with a queen. There's a lot of buzzing. Now I'm going to have to look in here to see if the queen's still in here. I don't know which hive to go in first, this one or not. There are a few dead bees on here uh, outside, so they may have just sprayed the rake the other day and uh, with a few flowers that's left open it's just uh, knocked a few bees out. Right, yeah, we've got a swarm that's coming here. I don't know whether it's Stevie's bees yet, but these bees are... Let's just break the frame. Sorry about the cable, but... Here we go. Easy to open. They are. I don't know whether you can see the nectar in there, but we'll have a look to see if... if there is a Mark Queen in here. Right, just been in there. It's not Stevie's bees that have swarmed. We've got somebody else's bees in there. There's a nice black queen in there. And I'm gonna leave them uh, to get on with collecting a bit of uh, honey. I'll come back and put a super on this one. All right, this is Stevie's bees. You can obviously see by the white comb here that the bees have been pulling out the frames. Uh, it looks like he's got a good amount of honey on here now. There we are, that's a nice frame, that'll be soon capped off. So that's that's good. So we put an extra super on here. So he's got basically two super frames full honey that need to be taken off in the next week or two, or probably next week. They'll cap this off. We'll go through the uh, June gap, and I think there's some beans that are going to help us out across in, I can't remember which direction he said, but they will help uh, the flow between the June gap. This is the second box. Obviously there are some empty frames there which need pulling out, So, but these are absolutely chock-a-block full of honey. So you've got two, four, six, seven frames full of honey. There's a little bit more room that they can put more honey in. So we'll take this off and then we'll have a look in the brood box. Right, the bees are a bit on the nasty side. I didn't give them much smoke because they're usually a gentle stock, but I would say it's coming up to that time where there's not much honey coming in and the bees uh, decide to have a go at anything that comes uh, in. You can hear by the noise. Okay, we're just going to have a quick look to see what's happening, see if there's any queen cells. There's the queen. She's just popping round under the frame there. She's right at the bottom, you can see that white dot. There she is. So it's not Stevie's bees that swarm. There's only a few queen cups in here with no eggs in. She's got a lot of room to, wrap, to lay up. Mm -hmm. So this, swarm, this colony might not swarm this next year. There's a queen cup there. So 